That's not the right window. Get out of there. Much better. Everybody, welcome to a bit of a chill stream tonight. If my audio sounds a bit different, I'm going to be messing with that a little bit. I probably won't actually proper mess with it too much in terms of balancing it with the game audio until I actually get in there. Uh, main reason being, you know, Minecraft's overall pretty quiet on music, and so it, I might actually amp up the game audio a little bit so you can hear it more, but I know stuff like breaking grass and whatnot is relatively loud, so I'll try to get a decent balance there, but I've actually got time to do it. Um, for now... <laughs> God, I don't even know where I want to begin. I guess I'll go ahead and start in Minecraft, and by the time I get like a house built and some sort of settlement, something established, we'll get more into the details of the schedule. But I will be streaming on Saturday and on Sunday this week, so stay tuned for that on Discord as usual. But if you'd like the times now, streaming at about like 5 to 6-ish on Saturday, doing more Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn coin flip, which we'll be starting with Endgame of Part 2, and then we'll be doing more of Star Fox Adventures which may or may not be the finale. It depends on how long the rest of the game takes. And we'll be doing that on Sunday at around 5.30, to somewhere between 5.30 and 6.30. Regardless, let's go ahead and hop in here. I'm going to adjust the, the game size on my end a little bit and slightly mess with OBS itself because I kind of want to see if I can get the, uh, the setup done properly here. Put the alerts first and foremost, and so I can see it easily. So I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit. I do want to have the chat window open, so I can. What I'm gonna try to do is make it to where I can, you know, see this and play at the same time. But I cannot completely promise anything. I can see you though, Fuller Cape. So hello. I hope you are doing well this evening, or whatever time it may be for you in your respective time zone. I do have my iPad open because that's what I'm gonna use to troubleshoot the audio later. Uh, it's at like 22% right now, so we'll see how long it lasts. For now, let's go ahead and hop in. I've been wasting enough time here. Mucking a boot. Yeah, I forgot I did that. Instead of mucking about. Um, let me think of something. How about... This world name will make sense later. Don't worry about it right now. I am going to set to Hardcore, which is survival mode locked at the hardest difficulty with only one life uh, to, well, muck about on, as you would probably well guess. So if I die here, like, super early, I'll reset if I'm, like, a decent way in and I don't want to, you know, redo everything that I did, then we'll probably just move on to some other sort of game. For now, this is what I'm going to stick on. Uh, for world options, there's no bonus chest or cheats if you're playing on Hardcore. I'm going to leave the world type as it is. I'm going to leave the structures as they are. And go ahead and begin. I don't even know how it is on my end in terms of sound for this, so again, I might have to mess with it a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Also, close a couple windows to speed up this process a little. There we go. I'm genuinely curious to see how. I don't know, that's a, that's a decent spot. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm messing with the, there we go. Yeah, I might have to turn things down a little bit in terms of graphics in order to get a better. I'll just mess with them one at a time and see how it goes. Where in the world did this spawn? I mean, I've ne not had one like spawn like this in a while. Uh, let's see, no, not language. I mean, we could mess with the language. I know enough Spanish where I could, you know, probably throw together some things. Doubtful that that's a good idea, though. Let's keep it at, like, 30. Let's turn the clouds off. I know they look nice. Well, no, we'll, we'll keep them on for now. All right, how's that looking on everybody else's end? I've not streamed Minecraft before. I don't think I have anyway. I could be wrong about that. But how does this look right now? Does this look at least, like, bearable? It's not running at a horrible rate or anything like that? If it is, please let me know, and I'll figure out how to change it. Because Terraria had that weird setting where it would only run well for both me and people watching if I played it in full screen. 
Still not 100% sure why it did that, but it did. Oh nice, there's lava going right into the ocean where some trees and whatnot are on fire. For now I'm just going to explore, I kind of want to get a nice area that I can build in right out of the gate. I'll make sure that if I see basic resources, you know, coal and all that, I'll grab it. I'm willing to bet most people probably don't need a walkthrough on how to play Minecraft. But I could be wrong, I don't know. I didn't come into the Minecraft series until like super, super late. I only started playing it like maybe a year before I was on Spoods Hardcore, like pretty pretty late to the to the series seeing as I'm about a month away from being 24 I should give you an idea of exactly how behind the times this old man is this old man in his mid 20s almost god that's going to feel so weird to be in my mid 20s See, I kind of like, whoa, hello. Kind of like that little island there, but. I could build like a table and all that, but I'm not too pressed for it right now. That's the nice thing about a sandbox game though. It's like, even if like this is just one island, like I'll just, I'll just go build somewhere else. I just build a boat and sail off into the, you know, the blue yonder until I find a spot I like. That might end up being what I do. If I play for a really long time, I might go try to kill a boss, like maybe the Ender Dragon or something, but I will be the first to admit I'm not good at the boss fights in this game. There's a sunken ship out there. Yeah, this... Somewhere around here might not be a bad idea. There's some chickens and some pigs. Alright, let's actually start doing some stuff here. We'll keep it. We'll keep it at that for now. And just like that, from digging three blocks, this pickaxe has already become outdated. It's like any technology age you'd ever see now. That's basically the time we live in. It's like, oh, cool, congrats on getting the new iPhone. You, you shelled out like a grand for it. And six months later, hey, we, we just released a new iPhone. You're going to have to get the new one now. This is probably why I have a cheapo phone. Well, no, probably about it. It is why I have a cheapo phone that's like 40 bucks. You break it, like no insurance plan, but you paid 40 bucks for it. So really no big deal. Not the end of the world. and check something real quick here. Alright, just making sure. But maybe this will be a little bit of a, I don't know. What? Oh, he must be underground. I'm like, there can't be any zombies. It's the first day. You guys saw me make this world, you know it's not on a separate day or anything like that. And I'm sure I'll probably grab a ton of this stuff later when I have a desire to go looking for diamonds and whatnot, but for now, I might as well just grab everything I see in terms of that. See, I kind of like this area, but I don't want to be in an area where zombies can fall on me or anything of that nature.
I kind of do and don't like this area. I'm gonna keep looking around. If I could find cows on the same island, that'd be great, but I'm not completely convinced until I can actually find something a bit more satisfactory. If I need to smooth out the land, then, you know, fine, I can do that. That's not too hard. I'm wasting a lot of the day here, though. I think this might just be like a relatively large island. Whoa, hello. <laughs> There's a tree growing down there? What? Look at that. There's a tree growing down there. What is it? What? But then again, like small little plants and whatnot can thrive in like cracks in the sidewalks. I guess it shouldn't be that surprising. It always looks a bit funny though, doesn't it? I'd almost set up shop. Ooh, that, yeah, you know what? I might actually set up shop here. I'd have to cut down a lot of trees, but this isn't the worst area in the world to... Maybe I do want a bigger island, though. I don't know. There's some iron down there. There's a brown sheep. Usually only see the white and the gray ones. It's weird to see different colors. Yes, yes, bah. Problem is I don't really like how the birch wood looks. I kind of like something darker in terms of building a house. So it kind of incentivize me to search elsewhere. I guess there's some other tree types on this area. I didn't bring my crafting table with me. That was dumb. Oh, well. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to build in this area. I just need to watch out for that giant ravine. Ooh, there's some, uh, some iron right here. Oh, that's a spider. I'm not going to fight that right now. Mostly because I have no sword. At the very least with that iron I can make a shield. So that's something. some backup of anything I might need because then I'm gonna have to make at least a furnace yeah I, I kind of like this area just here I think I'm gonna go with this all right Nah, I don't want to do that with my iron. I think I'll just stick with that. Oh, and I'm going to have to hurry, too. So as I'm chopping down trees, how is everybody doing today? On the 18th of... January. I almost said the 18th of Saturday. So this is vanilla Minecraft. Yeah, it's just a casual one. No mods installed, nothing like that. Just normal Minecraft. This is the most recently updated one, though, so there's some stuff I haven't seen. I knew about, like, the whole swimming mechanic and stuff, but I know they added on a little bit more past that.
to say, I hope those go away. I don't remember if they do or not. Yeah, we should be good on that one. There's the zombie. Hey, get out of here. So I was smart. The first thing I would have done was that. And just fill in the bottom. So at the very least, unless it's a spider, nothing can just randomly attack me here. It's relatively safe. I said I wasn't excited about using birchwood, but I guess for the time being, this is what I'm going to do for my uh, housing situation. I know we switch it up later though. Yeah, there's some zombie that wants in there, but he's not having much luck today. Maybe next time, sir. smarted see that at least gets my crafting table so I don't have to waste the wood there we go Soul of the Kingdom Hearts 3 on the 29th. Oh yeah, that's coming out pretty soon. It's funny watching my friends that are older now and seeing like the react because like they do want the Kingdom Hearts, but they don't want it's it's really funny to watch. Mostly because he remembers all the stuff like the underwater sections and he's not a big fan of those. And from what I watched him play, I can't say I blame him. That looked like it was incredibly aggravating. It should be fun, though. For anybody that's, like, a big Disney fan, they'll probably enjoy it. I'm not big on Disney, but that's just me personally. Both right there. That's it for wood right now, but we're in a we're in a pretty decent spot here. I'm gonna go ahead and make some torches though. Oh, they'll get removed later, but for now, keep the place nice and pretty well lit here. The first thing I should probably do is do this. Well, dude, that's not how you make a sword. You need to do that first. So two of the sword. And 
I don't have enough wood to make the shield right now. Nor the um, um, the chests to store some stuff. So this will have to do for the time being. I know that can get me sick with hunger, but it'll potentially fill up one of my hearts at least a little bit here. So Not the best source of food, but for right now it'll do. At least get a couple hearts back. So fittingly enough, while we're waiting for day, because there's really not much else I could do right now. I mean, I could go out and fight some stuff, but I am at like half health, so that may not be the best idea in the world. Uh, I can show you a picture really quickly of what I came to, oh, uh, came home to, yesterday night. Uh, after coming back from my classes, because that was cool. That's a lie. It wasn't cool at all. Came home to this. Yeah, this was nice. That's what's left of my shower door, which has now been obviously removed. But I have no idea how that could have happened. If we don't live in a fault line, so there's no earthquakes, and I'm pretty sure somebody who's never experienced an earthquake probably would have known if there was one. Doors locked, so it couldn't have been a pet. Nobody was home, so it wasn't a person. Not like a burglar or anything. If they did, they broke in to break this one thing and then left, which seems like a pretty dumb idea to do. Nothing like up here that could have fallen on it to cause it to break. So what happened? I have absolutely no idea. Which I know is a great answer, but yeah, no, no clue what happened there. Yeah, I suppose it'll let you eat those. Oh, well. So yeah, uh, tomorrow I'll be going to shop for a shower curtain, I guess. Part of me does want to go and like try to get... I've clearly learned nothing from my... Uh, allies in season one of hardcore this is how mytho died in season one for anybody that remembers he was cutting down wood i think that's what he was doing he got blown up by a creeper he was also distracted by his cat but i think that's what he was doing before getting distracted was he was cutting down a tree which then proceeded to make me cut down every tree in the wooded area that we were in solely to make sure that didn't happen again that was the only reason i did that All right. Now we can actually store some of this stuff. We weren't like incredibly bad on inventory or anything like that, but it always helps to have the space. Oh, right, it makes that type of door. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on the birch door. I want one I can see through in case there's a zombie right on the other side. I know I can make windows. That's what, heck, that's what I'm using these for. But I'll play a little bit more safe than that. What was the other thing I need to make? Oh, right, a shield. I can make a shield. Ah, now we're ready for combat. Quite symmetrical. There we go. That'll work. Still gonna have to watch out for stuff though, because it's not gonna burn very easily because of all the trees.
So outside of doing Minecraft tonight, I did want to talk a little bit more about... Oh, I can join my other axe, I guess. What? You're supposed to be burning, dude. You better be burning down there. Have the thing which to block him with, but... Get up there, please. Thank you. Oh, that's a sheep. All right, we're good on that. Oh, and there's some cows over there. Okay, perfect. So I've got pig, sheep, and cows. I definitely need to go and get food, though, in order to get my health back up. So I need to go and kill some of those pigs. Not all of them, but just some. Because I'd rather save the, the cow and sheep. Because if there's any I can afford to lose, it's the pigs. Since all they give is food, not really anything else. Alright, that should do for now. I did want to talk a little bit about my schedule, though, for the upcoming weeks. Uh, hopefully, after today, it should be a little bit more relaxed than I thought it was going to be previously, because I ended up, believe it or not, I really got to watch that ravine, actually changing majors today. Went from education to pure English, and the reason for that is, quite simply, it was just not in the cards for me in terms of how much was expected on top of family life and whatnot. As most people here already know, my family, situ family situation is not good in terms of health. There's a lot of people in my family that are ailing. I've got, like, a 91-year-old uncle that fell recently, and he's got, like, maybe two weeks, if we're being generous, left. Uh, mom's not been in good health for a long, long time. And pretty much just what they had me wanting to do, or what, uh, what they wanted me to do, was going to take up any excess time and... I'm not going to put my priority of my family behind the priority of my education because I can go back and get an ed education anytime, but I can't exactly, you know, go back and spend last moments with people before they pass away. So to me, that was more valuable. Uh, definitely when I told some people that, they did not see it that way. Some people in my department did not see it that way, uh, which makes me feel old for saying it, but hopefully they'll find out how important that is when they get put in that situation because most of them are like only 10 years older than me and they haven't had to go through that because their parents are like you know they're pretty young all things considered my parents were pretty old when they had me like my dad will be 60 in about a year he's 58 he'll have to be 59 in just over a month and my mom will be 55 so like their parents are around that age but they don't have those physical issues so they haven't really had to deal with that kind of thing before so I get that it's like it's harder to get it from a perspective that you've never been in before but it was my decision to make and I think I made the right one because I already feel better after this morning I felt awful this morning I felt like I'd been hit by a bus honestly and I already feel better which is why I decided to do this stream too because I wanted to be able to do something like relaxing and fun and I don't know why hardcore was the, the first thing that came to mind but it was but just like really wanted to do something that do something for me and that was likely because I'd already done something for me earlier in the day in doing this and as of right now I've not regretted that decision at all It's one of those things I'm glad I could see at a, at a young age in terms of, like, realizing what's important to me. Because I think a lot of people my age think they know it's important to them. But until they actually get put in a position where it's like, these are two things you really have to care about. Now you have to choose which one is more important and the other one you have to let go. Unless you've been put in that situation, it's easy to say, oh, I would choose this. But would you really, if you were actually in that situation, what would you do? It would be a lot harder to... 
it's a lot easier to say it from the sidelines than it is when you're the person being put out in front to do that. It's much, much harder. I think I'm going to go up. Not much more. So tomorrow I'll be starting classes for my penultimate, well, that was the corner of that, penultimate semester, and I'll be taking one summer class, and I should graduate fall of this year rather than spring, so it didn't set me back, like, too terribly far in terms of time. And, like, as fun as it is to teach kids, like, I don't have to have a degree in education to be able to teach kids. I technically do that at my job right now at the Health Science Center. Is I teach med students how to have more social awareness of people that are ailing or have some sort of mental or physical disability that they have to live with and how to you know have a good rapport with those patients I could always just tutor people in English or math or any subject like that so there's other ways to be able to make it a job or a hobby or whatever it might be without it being bachelor's degree in education The upside is also as well, I'm only like one week in to this semester, so I'm not falling too far behind on progress in terms of the actual classes. I'm pretty sure I can catch up and then some very, very easily. So I'm not too terribly worried about that. Plus, I'll also actually get uh, Martin Luther King Day off because finally my uh, university decided that they wanted to make Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, an actual holiday that they celebrated. It only took them about 60 years. Thanks for that, guys. But had I actually been going out to the schools, uh, they had Professional Development Day, which for teachers is like, how do I improve how I teach? In, that's the short version of it how to improve how I teach and so I would have had to have been there anyway so by the time they finally were just you know decided to be nice about it it wouldn't have mattered anymore and I would have had to be you know out there doing something anyway am I talking yes I am talking it's picking up on the mic let me try cranking it a little bit higher I probably should mess with my audio settings a little bit now well actually I want to install a door on the house before I do that run very quickly and go grab some some proper wood that I can make a door or that I can see through. I know I've got the glass there, but it's more to make sure I don't have a zombie on the other side of the door that's just going to kill me instantly. Really thought I was going to make that jump. Oh well. Alright, that should be enough. definitely need to eat when I get back so I can get back up to the full health here. And yeah, I'm getting pretty close to the end of the second day here, so I definitely want to get back indoors. But thankfully, I actually have a proper house built now, so at the very least, I can hang out here. There 
we go. There's that. Now I can properly mess with the audio settings. As soon as I torch up the place a little bit better. There we go. It's not exactly a five star resort, but it'll be home for the time being. All right, now let me actually get my audio sorted out here. Torches, anyone? Always torches. Torches are always a good option. Try clicking on this. Yeah, I can hear my audio fine. I I don't know what issue you're having on your end, but I just checked it on my end and the voice actually sounded a lot better now. I know it used to be like super loud and that's why I went into like the individual mic settings. So basically what I did was I turned OBS uh, up and my mic down to kind of counterbalance it, but it doesn't sound like I'm right next to the mic. But I'm not having any issues with it. So if you can hear me now, then please let me know. So that I know what's going on in terms of that, but it's working fine for me now. I wonder if I can actually keep it contained in that window or not. The answer may not surprise me. Probably lowered a bit in my ears as well. I think we're good on that front. Go neat real quick. The Twitch app is very awkward to navigate in case you couldn't already tell. I think it was the quality settings I had it set to. It could be, it also could have just been like a very large patch where I wasn't talking and I was focusing on building or something of that nature. I'm honestly not sure. It could have been that though. It very well could have been. Some more of these, and let's just hop on in. Let's get some mining done. Something. I know I saw a spider in here earlier, though. Yeah, there he is. I have no idea if this is the same one or not, though. Well, I was hoping for string. I don't like digging straight down for obvious reasons. Be very careful of that. Oh, uh, let's see if I can just hop up here. I might try to lower the quality of mind a little bit more. It's not like lagging to where it's unplayable, but if I was in like a position where I had to act quickly, I would still have a bit of trouble. Uh, let's see. Video settings. Just like those fast. I guess I don't need it to like render super far. We'll try going to six. As for the resolution, let's try that. Okay. 
Yeah, that feels a lot better. Part of me would say I'm like, I'm sorry for lowering it, but it's also Minecraft, so like, unless you're playing with a high, like, usually most people have a mod to make the graphics look better, so unless you're playing with that, you're usually not expecting, like, you know, top of the line, oh, everything looks amazing. There he is. I was wondering where the zombie was. Might as well grab the EXP. Really, outside of iron, I'm not looking for anything in particular for the time being. I know there's a lot of coal I could be mining it, but I'd rather have the iron to at least get a piece of armor or two before coming back in here, because the less time I spend down here with no armor, the better. I've learned from Ray's mistakes. If you've watched Minecraft Hardcore on PBG's channel, you know what I'm talking about. Dude, that last season though, man, that was that was an adventure. I'm not gonna like spoil it or anything, but if you've not watched that season, like go and watch really go and watch all the seasons. There's also somebody else I'd really heavily recommend watching on YouTube if you're a big fan of the horror genre. Um, and particularly if you also don't like the jump scares, but you like the element of horror in terms of like the the background and whatnot. Um, don't even know how, don't even remember how I ran across them. I think I was just looking up traps from the Saw movies because I was just like, eh, kind of feel like seeing what else in the newer ones because I didn't stop watching past three, I think. Uh, might have been four. Whichever one had like Jeff as the main guy and he just kept going like super slow every single spot. Whichever one that was. Um, but yeah, uh, I believe it's called Evil Dead, Dead Meat. No, not Evil Dead. I think it's Dead Meat. Uh, now I'm trying to remember. But they basically do kill counts for all the movies. So they give you like a basic rundown of like, okay, this is what happens in the movie. They kind of give you a uh, the synopsis of it. But then they also like count how all the people die. They do... Uh, awards like golden chainsaw for the best death of you know killer getting somebody uh dull machete for the worst kill a lot of really cool stuff there so if you're a big fan of horror i would recommend checking them out i didn't even know they existed but the content there is really really good i've enjoyed everything i've watched cannot recommend them enough i think they've only had like one video they did that actually had like a proper jump scare and they warn about it in the start of the video so they're really good about being like super respectful of the audience and letting them know in advance if something comes up because they did one video on uh, a horror movie called President's Day and they were going to release it but then they had like the whole uh, the murders in Florida and the Florida school and so like yeah if this is offensive to you or if it, you don't want to watch this if it's not the right time for you to watch it then totally understand so they were like super respectful about it too so if you want like some some good quality some good backstory good explanation like really i would very heavily recommend them i've had them on in the background just watching their stuff for probably the last five six days like everything i've watched i've enjoyed watching I gotta figure out how I get out of here. I think it's this way. I think I went straight up. Or straight down, which means I need to go straight up. Yeah, here we go. Alright, that'll give us plenty of armor for when we come back to that. Actually, I'm going to take that piece in the next two that get formed. And 
let's make an axe out of that and chop some more trees so then I'll have room for I'll probably start with the farm of animals and then I'll go from animal farm to things like wheat any of the doodads I might pick up yeah I think we'll just get everything that's from here to there that'll probably make the most sense It'd be interesting to host like a multiplayer server on, on Minecraft on my computer. I've never actually done that before. Obviously with Hardcore, I've played on other people's servers, but never made one myself. Though I'm pretty sure you have to like pay for the IP or something like that. I don't know all the details myself, most because I haven't bothered to research it. But if I recall correctly, if you want to do like a private server for friends only or whatever, there is something you have to to pay for in order to have that, be it monthly or yearly, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I see him burning over there. Get out of here. Been day for a while now, zombie. You're not supposed to be here. I wonder what is considered like the best biome to build in in terms of just like making sure enemies don't ambush you. I know the desert's obviously a horrible choice. Uh, tundra is not a great choice either because there's special mobs that spawn there. Open fields seem like they do okay, but I don't know. Like the actual mob spawns seem bad, but you also don't have to clear out a bunch of trees. And then for forest, you kind of have the opposite problem where there doesn't seem to be a lot of mobs, but, you know, they can hang out in the trees, they can live longer during the day. I think I'm just going to cut down every tree on the left side here. I'll just ruin the environment. It's probably fine. How's the game audio, by the way? Again, I know Minecraft game audio isn't super loud, but like, here, we'll give an example. How does this audio sound in terms of me breaking grass right now? Does it need to be up, down? Can you not hear it at all? So once it gets to that point, just let me know and I will adjust it accordingly. Because again, I know like some sounds of Minecraft are really loud and others are not. And that's probably intentional, especially for stuff like digging because you know, with digging, especially if you're looking for diamonds, like you're gonna be doing that a lot. You really don't want loud, obnoxious noises while you're doing all that. Oh, hey, some turtles. I'm not gonna attack them. Hey, guys, how's it going? I know the turtles are new from when I, I the turtles were not in effect last time I played. I know there's like a potion you can make with their shells, but I don't want to kill them. I mean, they're just living their lives. It's not like killing a sheep. Freaking sheep. Though these guys are going to get saved for uh, making a bed. Which I probably should check on the iron that I've got. Make a full iron set, make some shears, make some uh, iron picks and whatnot.
Um, I'm a. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Make some of these, and uh, let's just get rid of that. Because I probably would have fallen to my death, and I've already done that one time too many. I may or may not still be bitter. Alright, that's plenty of iron. Shears. Bucket. Shirt. Pants, headpiece, booties. And some iron picks. Alright, now we've actually got some stuff going here. Got it on hand. I'm gonna make another axe because this one's about to break. Actually, yeah, this will work perfectly because I'm gonna make a shovel as well. Get rid of that. Now we are in business. I'm curious if people have any like predictions on when I'll die or maybe where. I feel like I'm doing alright so far. Now that I got the iron armor fully set, I feel a lot better. Try to flatten at least a fair bit of this out to make the pens. At some point I do want to try to go and find a village though. not even like an edge to really get down there that easily at least not from here there's not all right that ought to work let's break some grass I don't want to break too many of the flowers, though, because, like, part of me likes keeping at least some form of the land natural. I can't remember what the sheep like. I think they like... Maybe I should start building the farm first, because I think they like wheat. I know the chickens like seeds, the pigs like either carrots or tomatoes. And the cattle like wheat. I 
I might go back underground and mine some more because it looks like I'm running out of daylight here. this I break down the more the branches of the tree will be gone later and I won't have to deal with those when I come back up that from the get-go. Oh well. Sheep kind of freaked me out for a second there. He's like walking towards me all spookily. Is that the correct word for it? What's the adverb of spooky? I should take those with me. I definitely do need more torches before I start going anywhere. Let's make one more set. Perfect. Now nah, I should keep that with me just in case. I do want to try to shoot the, the sheep if I can get to him without getting blown up or something. No, he seems to like it out here. He likes having a little open area to be able to hang out. Oh, that's something I could do too. I could hang on to the uh, the wool and try to find some lapis, and then combine the uh, the lapis and the red roses because I've got a ton of those, and make it purple and try to make a purple bed. Most of the colors, by and large, not all, most of them are relatively easy to come by because of the f different flower types. Some of them are a little harder, like the greens are usually a little bit tougher. I'm not going to take that with me. I'll take the water bucket with me for sure. Don't need that. All right, let's get going. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for down here. Really, at this point, just about anything is, is useful. Hopefully I'll be smart enough to remember that that's the way back up.
fully aware I'm jinxing it by saying this, but I'm legit surprised we have not seen a single creeper thus far. Really would have expected to see one by now. giant vein of iron right here. That was like enough for a, a chess piece. I hear a river nearby or some sort of water source. That is one book I really need to read again, is The River. I should probably start with Hatchet since that's the, the first in the series. I need like a very castaway style book that's not too hard or comprehensive or anything like that. I'd recommend looking up The, uh, the River or Hatchet. Gary Paulson is the author of those. And I'll admit, The River's not as good as Hatchet. Most people say that. I think it's primarily the setting. Because one's like an actual deserted island, and one is, you could probably guess, a river. And it just doesn't seem to quite capture the, uh... It doesn't quite capture the magic of the original. And that's probably due to the fact that it's the same character being trapped, and so, you know, he doesn't have to rediscover how to like there's new things he has to learn to survive with but the basic element of survival like oh my god there's nothing I can do he already knows that he can do something it's a comprehensive little mine shaft here I feel like I want to know what I'm about to swim into down here, thanks. Glad I checked. No other entrances or exits. careful Mr. Bat, I don't want to accidentally kill you. I love bats in real life. I know most people think they're creepy. I absolutely adore them. Time and sounds good right about now. It, yeah, that would be nice. I'm always down to find some diamonds. That's not what I want to do. I'm at 21. Okay, so I think I'm in the spot to find diamond. I know 13 is where I usually dig out on the Y coordinate because that usually puts you over most lava surfaces so you won't accidentally dig forward into lava. It'll be below you instead of just pouring out from wherever you're digging. So in that regard, it's a little safer. Oh, a bat flew in front of me. It threw me off for a minute there. I thought the game crashed or something. Obsidian. If I had diamond, then I could 
can mine this. Hey, there's some lapis. That's one thing I was looking for. Also grab some gold while I'm here. I usually don't use redstone for that much outside of potion crafting, but I might as well grab it. Actually, I thought about building a cross that for a minute and then realized I have a water bucket. That's kind of dumb. And there's a much, much easier way to do that. Glad I remembered that. Alright. And yeah, I'm seeing all the iron and stuff. I know it's there. I'm not completely oblivious. Only mostly. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. There we go. That's the first skeleton I've killed. We saw one earlier, but I'm pretty sure that one got burned up in the, uh, in the sun's harmful rays. I need to go back to where I was. I'm not doing a good job of marking the path of where I am, and I really don't want to get lost. I know I've got a pick, and I could just, like, straight up dig to the to the surface if I needed to. But at the same time, I'd rather not if I can avoid it. Apologize if that gives you a seizure. I always find it weird that, like, the second you touch redstone, it just lights up like that. This seems like a bad idea. There we go. Yet another thing I've learned from the hardcore series is don't hang around areas like that at the bottom of ravines because stuff will drop on you and it will kill you. Again, that was not something I suffered a fatal injury to, but somebody on our team sure did. Alright, I know it went this way because I used the water bucket there. Was the lava correct? There's a block of gold I either missed or walked past, but I don't think I missed that one. In terms of me 
or I don't think I walked past it is what I meant. I think I straight up missed that one. Some point, part of me kind of wants to go back and watch that movie, but knowing how sad the ending is, it's like it's really hard to actually will yourself to go and watch it. The Mist, that is. It's a, it's a great horror movie, but man, it's got like one of the saddest endings of any horror movie ever. And it's not like, oh, everyone dies. Like, that's been done. That was done with uh, Night of the Living Dead, and that's like an old, an, well, not old, old film, but like old enough to be in black and white. I think they reshot it, or not reshot it, but they went back and did it in color at some point, but spoiler alert for Night of the Living Dead on a very old movie. Everybody ends up dead in that one. Namely, because there's only one person that has any remote common sense, and then he gets shot at the end anyway because people think he's a zombie, even though he's not. Yeah, I'm good. That was the reason I left that water there. I think I would have had to have been that way. Had to have come from that way anyway. I think now I'm going to try to make my way back up to the surface. And I'll siphon what I can from these. Until this pick runs out. I want to have at least one full one in case I just straight up have to dig to the surface. If I wanted to be, like, super cheap, I could, you know, like, I could pull this up when I get back home, check the coordinates, type them in the, in the chat, yeah, like so, and then I could just refer to it whenever I wanted, but I'm not going to do that. Unless I actually do get enough stuff to go fight the Ender Dragon, and, then, and I want to try to make it back home afterwards, then I will allow myself that, at least. If I know for a fact I'm going to make a gigantic expedition and there's no other way to find back, like even with a really good map I couldn't find back, then then I would do it. Yeah, this looks familiar because that was the other, this was like that giant water area because I took out the water here. Tells me this is not the right way. Yeah, because I saw this area earlier. I guess I could look around here. Ooh, ooh. I'm kind of glad, not glad I did this now. There's a lot of stuff in here. Make no mistake, I'm taking that chest with me too. I'm not an idiot. Melon seeds. Those are normally a lot harder to find. Dude, I hit the mother loader right there. I'm glad I came this way now. <laughs> I just made like the funniest face in real life. I wish you could have seen that. Dude, I don't even know if I want to try and look around here that much anymore. <laughs> that scared me. I thought that was a creeper because I saw the green. Like, half of me is like, I don't want to lose all this good stuff I have if I die, but it's like, dude, if you die, you're in hardcore. Like, what does it, does it really matter if you have good stuff or not when you die? Like, you're, you're screwed either way. I do have a bucket. I got one right here, but uh, 
For me, it feels like in this instance, it's just better to build over it. It's one of those Minecraftian things is you kind of just have to decide, like, is it better to build this? Is it better to fight it? Better to use some sort of ability like a water bucket to stop it? You kind of have to just gauge the situation. Plus, it's not like I'm low on... Oh, that was just a spider. I thought I heard a sizzling noise. That's why I freaked out and turned around. I thought it might have been a creeper. Though I've learned from Pro Jared, if I see a spider and I'm near lava, I'm going to be careful. I think it's best if I tag out of here for the time being. Plus, since we are streaming this, I want to kind of keep a... doesn't have to be an all-star variety, but enough variety to where it's like I'm underground some, but not all the time. There's a creeper. Might actually have to fight him to get back home. Okay. Or I could just die. I held up shield and it didn't work. That's good to know. I swiped twice at him and I definitely held down right click. Do the shields not actually block the explosions anymore? That kind of sucks. Lots of sheep, bunch of poopkins. Now I'm just more curious about what else is around here. I guess this was bigger than I... It felt like it was really small for some reason. Oh, come on. That looked really cool. Whatever it was. Alright, it's probably not going to let me go much farther than that. Alright, with that being the case, I'm going to switch over to intermission and figure out something else I feel like playing, I guess, for the time being. Not really sure what else I'm in the mood for. Hmm. I will figure that out, and I'll probably be back in, like, a couple minutes. Alright, quick hop back from intermission. I actually know what we're going to do real quick. <laughs> nice top middle intermission. Right? It's so good. I wish I could have posted the whole thing. But it would only let me clip for like a certain amount of time. But it, it's genius. I love it. Anyway, I know what game I'm going to load up. We started this like... A week? Two weeks ago? And I've been like slowly chipping away at it, but I've actually got the urge to play right now, so uh, this might take a little bit to set up, but I definitely do know what I'm going to play and I'm going to keep going. So again, I'll be back in a couple minutes. In the meantime, let me enter my Apple ID slash password 30 dozen times, because for whatever reason, when signing into the iTunes store, you have to sign in once for your... Uh, your songs, once for your podcasts, once for your music videos, once for your TV shows, and once for your movies. 
which is very obnoxious. Don't know why they make you do that. In the meantime, though, uh, let's put on some Resident Evil 6 music. Enjoy the Mercenaries Heat on Beat. As soon as it loads. Alright, that should be things set up. Let me very quickly change the game they're playing. And make sure I'm using the right command here. Just making sure. Alright, the stream has been updated to the almighty Mario Party 3. If you want to stick around, we're going to continue the story mode. I've got like a pretty fair ways in, if I remember correctly. Uh, what I'm going to do for like all of about five seconds, probably not even that, is stop this stream and then immediately start back up. Reason for that is because I usually upload these to uh, to my archive channel, which is probably been popping up in the description at least once by now. 
And in order to do that, it's either upload them directly, which takes like 40 minutes to upload four hours of footage, or take out a big giant file and then cut it into sec separate pieces for each, you know, different thing that I stream. You get the picture. It takes a lot longer to upload that way. So, uh, I'll type in a command to refresh. I'm going to stop streaming for like three seconds, so I'll see you guys very shortly.